what is at stake is a new economic model that is provided by the internet to scientific publishing, which so far is still based on, I think, an ancient model where you have paper versions and now you have online versions and the online versions make it possible relatively easily with protocols and so on to have open access for everybody. So the scientific publishing can switch to open access relatively easily. My name is Bart van Tegelen. I'm Dutch, but I work for a French company, the French research and organization CNRS. Uh, I'm also a member of the French Physical Society, and as such, I'm here to speak about open access because the French Physical Society owns, uh, so to speak, uh, a publishing house, and, uh, and that's why we are very much involved in scientific publishing. What is important for the researcher that his scientific papers are read, because more people read papers, the more they will be cited. And citation is a very important issue for uh, the researcher because in the end he will be evaluated, he will be candidate for a professorship and they will also count citations. So the more uh, the articles that he has been submitted are accessible to everybody, the more he will get citations. And that is the, that's the, that's the, the link for open access, the benefit for open access for, this, for the researcher. The issue about open access is that there is a, a there is a especially the open access gold model which you mentioned is about the the, the financial uh, issue of who is going to pay for it. Okay, and the the, re, the the situation right now is that uh, the laboratories, the libraries are paying, and that is all government money in the end. It's all taxpayers' money, and uh, and, and and these libraries uh, they have to go cross to open access. In which case, somebody will pay for it. But that is not necessarily the author. The author is a, that's a very bad model because the author is nobody against big societies, big publishers so like Elsevier and so on. So it is not a very good model to have an economic model where the author pays. But there can be other models. There can also be an, a model where a consortium pays or a scientific organization pays. The Max Planck Gesellschaft in Germany, for instance, is a, is a scientific organization who has decided that she will pay for every paper published by uh, its members in a specific journal, Open Access. So that is, a, that is a policy, and we hope in France to get this policy as well. And they say, in the end, it will be uh, less expensive. That's also, of course, a very important issue. Again, we should not bother the author to do economics, financial stuff. That is not what he is supposed to do. He is to, he has to, he's supposed to do science, and uh, we have others taking care of the financial business.